Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking WWE 2K19 because last week WWE games and members of the media traveled to Aberdeen Washington Daniel Bryan's hometown to meet the leader of the Yes movement where it had been rumored that 2K was set to announce the return of 2K Showcase. Well, the rumors were true because I can now confirm that 2K Showcase will return for WWE 2K19 and not only do we have an official press release, but we also have gameplay footage from the mode. Now 2K's official press release stated this, 2K Today announced the return of 2K Showcase, a story driven campaign mode honoring Daniel Bryan's legendary career. Relive the most epic moments, the highlights and the challenges from Daniel Bryan's career that have made him the WWE superstar he is today. The return of Daniel Bryan Showcase features vignettes with historic WWE footage and Daniel Bryan's own words to give that context and backstory to the subsequent matches that gamers will play through, enabling players to truly feel the adversity that Daniel Bryan had faced each step of his WWE career. Fight for his dream by competing in 11 objective based legendary matches and one additional surprise match playing as variations of Daniel Bryan to unlock historic arenas, superstars, attires and championships. So that is what 2K had to say in regards to the return of 2K Showcase and I wonder what would that additional surprise match be? Let me know in the comments section below. But now, let's get into the juicy bits. The footage, WWE Games released three clips of the Daniel Bryan Showcase. The first from 2013, a no disqualification match from Monday Night Raw against Randy Orton. The second as part of Team Hell No, Daniel Bryan and Kane versus Kofi Kingston and R-Truth from Night of Champions in 2012. And the third and final clip from the early days of Daniel Bryan and John Cena going one on one in 2003 on WWE Velocity. Now you can check out the full unedited raw footage of all these clips via the link in the description box below, which is now available on my YouTube channel. But here's what I took away from each clip. In this clip between Bryan and Orton from Raw 2013, Randy Orton has an updated model and so does Daniel Bryan to reflect the time. Orton also has his original tattoos, putting to bed the rumour that Orton's tattoos were going to be removed or edited as part of a lawsuit between the tattoo artist and 2K. This clip also confirms the return of the Raw 2013 arena. In terms of sound of this clip, the crowd appears to be much more enhanced and the commentary team seems to flow much better. Brian on the second rope. Randy Orton could be closing in on a victory. Oh, vintage Orton with a DDT. I think that's the beginning of the end, gentlemen. Randy Orton seems to be preparing to go to that place. Randy Orton is focused. Randy Orton could be closing in on victory. Looking for the RKO. No. Backslide by Brian. Shoulders are down. Oh, Orton kicks out. And just to note, for all showcase clips, the commentary team is Michael Cole, Corey Graves and Byron Saxton, so no historical commentary was used. Towards the end of this clip, as part of Daniel Bryan's winning sequence, there is no bell to determine the win, no yes chance and the Titan Tron is turned off, but all these things I would expect to be updated further down the line. One minor bug was spotted at 2 minutes 28, where the referee can clearly be seen glitching out by walking repeatedly into the ring barrier. So that's a little annoying, as you would expect as part of a press release, you wouldn't want to show any bugs, even small ones like this. But again, I'd expect it to be fixed prior to release. Now for clip two between Team Hell No versus Kofi Kingston and R-Truth. Kofi is wearing his retro attire of yellow and black. And although he cannot be seen in this clip, it does confirm that R-Truth will have his white attire from the show as he was taken out prior to this clip. As this match was held at Night of Champions in 2012, it also confirms the arena. And if you also look at the crowd at 36 seconds of the raw footage, you will see the no Daniel Bryan shirt, 
the Respect the Beard Daniel Bryan shirt and the Yes Movement shirt, confirming some t-shirt designs which will likely be available in the creation suite. Bryan with a shot to Kane What is happening? And that's Kane off the top rope. Splash into a cover. New tag team champion. And lastly, clip three, Brian versus Cena from Velocity in 2003, where we get to see a hideous John Cena retro attire, not 2K's problem, but more John Cena's fashion choice in 2003. Daniel Bryan has a younger model with a retro hairstyle and a white attire, and this also confirms the inclusion of the Velocity Arena and the return of the SmackDown Fist Arena. One thing which could have been focused on considering 2K Showcase is about trying to relive the moments, and considering the effort that it takes to go back in time, there could have been a little more love for the referees. It seems the same referee is used in all three clips, and it is the same referee as last year. And with this clip particularly, he should have been wearing a blue Smackdown shirt, and not the regular black and white of the officials. But that's just me being picky. So once again, if you want to watch all these clips in full, unedited and for yourself, you can do so via the link in the description box below as the video is now live on my YouTube channel. I think for the player, the return of 2K Showcase is great and it is a fun experience to play through. Visually, again, as I've said before, I have no complaints. These clips look fantastic and one major thing is the audio and the commentary. The crowd sounds much more atmospheric and the commentary flows. Now this could just be because this is from 2K Showcase, but I really hope the audio from both the crowd and the commentary team is like this across the board in WWE 2K19. So there you have it. 2K Showcase is back and it's back with Daniel Bryan. That means we have two modes officially confirmed, 2K Towers and now Showcase. And is that enough to keep you satisfied? 2K Showcase I'd imagine takes a lot of work and I honestly think that these two are the main modes in this year's game, which means no GM mode. That's not confirmed, but that's just me speculating and I did run a poll on my Twitter account last Friday to see if these two modes were enough to satisfy you and this was the outcome. 53% of you said yes, yes, yes. 33% of you said no, 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 and 14%, well, you're just never satisfied. Anyway, get involved in the comments section below and let me know what you think about the return of 2K Showcase. Are you excited? Are you happy it was Daniel Bryan? If not, who would you have gone with? What about the collector's edition in Ric Flair? Could he have been the guy to have a showcase this year? Why did they go with Daniel Bryan over the Nature Boy? Hmm, interesting. Could it be the fact that his contract was due for renewal? Maybe. Anyway, all that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. And one thing on that, it surely means now that Daniel Bryan is going nowhere. If 2K are going to do the showcase on him, WWE surely must be confident that Daniel Bryan is going nowhere. Of course, again, I want to hear from you in the comment section below. But until we get more news, and don't forget to check out my other content, WWE 2K19 wise, plenty of it is coming around this detail. This is Delzinski, signing out.